We've covered hiring and employment best practices for the past few seasons here on Power Tips TV. But what about letting someone go? No one likes to let go or terminate an employee. It's awful. It's uncomfortable and it's really awkward. So today, we're going to give you a hand and talk about how to fire someone the right way when we come back. Hi, I'm Victoria Downing and welcome to Power Tips TV where we talk about tips, tactics and techniques to help you build a strong, profitable remodeling company. Letting an employee go is one of the most unpleasant parts of owning or managing a business. We all want our employees to be fantastic in their jobs, to be so wonderful that we never have to worry about letting them go. But that's not the real world now, is it? Inevitably, someone, sometime, will be hired and he or she will simply not be a good fit. This could be for a variety of reasons. And when that happens, that employee has to go. But even when you know what has to be done, it's not easy. In fact, many of us put it off because it's so uncomfortable. We wait until the situation is totally out of control and then we finally pull the plug. When any of our roundtable members have fired an employee, I often ask, how did the other employees react? And guess what? Typically, they are elated that you finally did it. They were wondering, was taking you so long to get it done? In fact, while I've often heard remodeling company owners say they should have let someone go earlier, I've never heard anyone say that they wish they would have waited to fire someone. So here are six steps to follow once you've made that tough decision. One, make sure everything is well documented. This is your best defense against a lawsuit. Write down the facts about what happened and why you decided to fire this individual. Two, have the meeting with the employee in person. Resist the urge to fire someone over the phone or worse, by email. You're the business owner. Have the guts to do it right. Three, have the meeting in a room other than your office if possible. After you have this discussion, you're going to want to stand up and be able to leave the room to allow the employee to compose themselves. That's pretty tough to do when you have the conversation in your own office. Number four, include another person in the conversation. In most small businesses, this is going to be the general manager or the office manager. It's safer, it helps you stay firm and fair on task, and it helps to have a witness should the terminated employee ever have any legal issues or come to sue you. Number five, provide honest feedback, but keep it to a minimum. You want him or her to know where they came up short, even this certainly should not be a surprise. But you don't want to open the floor for discussions and rebuttals. Just state the facts, share the details of the severance package, then say goodbye, stand up, and bring the meeting to the close. Six, during the entire process, treat the employee with dignity and respect. Here are some ways to show it. First, don't fire somebody on a Friday. That simply leaves them stranded, feeling helpless and depressed. Do it on a Monday so that he or she can start networking for a new job immediately. Be serious and don't make jokes. It's certainly not a joking matter for them. Express confidence in the person's future. It didn't work out with you, but it will for someone else. Did I miss anything? Do you handle terminations differently? Is there something you do that helps things end on a positive note for both parties? Please share your experience in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you again next week. We've covered hiring and employment best practices practices. We now see now if you just don't laugh that I can dive right back in. Here we go. This is it. We've covered hiring and employment best breath. <laughs> that just is not rolling off the tongue. Damn. Employment best practices. No one likes to fire or terminate an employee. It's awful. It's uncomfortable and awkward. So, to give you a hand, so today we're going to give you a hand. Start over. You hit your mic. Ah, did I? With my hand? I hope it was your hand. I mean, what else would I be doing? I guess. Watch your step. We're all going to know how to do it now. What does that mean? No, I was talking to the audience. The audience is employees out there. Watch your step. We'll know how to fire you right. Come on.